Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Gem and Crystal with Serpentine Dream. As promised, here's the uh, first cutting video of the season. Um, this is my butter and leopard clutch. Uh, I woke up this morning and went ahead and did my normal daily check on the eggs. And this little guy here, or girl, had his little head poking out. So I knew I'd be doing a clutch video tonight on cutting. Um, and then throughout the day, Crystal sent me a picture of that one with its little head hanging out and then I get home and we take a peek in and that one there that you can't see yet had a little bit of its little uh, nose sticking out so we're gonna get these cut open and uh, see what we got like I said it was a butter leopard um, pairing so it could be butter leopard of course what we want mainly the butter leopard and of course we can get a normal here or there hopefully not hopefully we just get all butter leopards and it'll be awesome and like always, they get their little head stuck. I'd actually started already cutting this one open. Uh, we was doing the video. And for some reason, the camera just stopped recording. So luckily, it wasn't too far into it. And we just kind of reshot it. I can't just tear this. That's, there we go. All right, give him some freedom there. Let me get his little head back in. Just hiding from me. Or some of these are gonna be a little hard to tell. But if I had to guess, especially with that little head pattern, I'd have to say I think this could be at least a butter, but it may also have some leopard in it. That pattern is pretty wild on it. Some of these we'll have to wait till they come out to really kind of get a full look at them, see if there's any striping on the tail and and some different things like that so we'll know more when they come out but regardless pretty cool looking little baby it's definitely not a normal so I guess we might as well check this one out why he's got his little head poked out don't worry we'll come try to get you out of there we'll come try to save you alright Real careful here, getting close to, getting close to their little necks and heads. Not, not enough yet. Now, well, give me a second. We'll get you out of there. This one's wanting to move around, so that's not really helping the course here. Sorry if you have a hard time seeing it. Trying to get its little head out, and it's <laughs> keeps trying to get back in, so it's making it a little bit difficult. Here we go. All right. A little butchered there, but didn't want to cut it either. So we got some wild looking pattern going on. Like I said, some of these are going to be really hard to tell. Some of the leopard and some of the butter stuff is so you can get a really good full look at the snake, but. Definitely not just a normal, a regular normal. I think it might have a, uh, thinking it's at least a leopard. We'll see. He like says one of those will kind of have to check it out more when it comes out. You guys are more than welcome to take some guesses too. It's kind of the fun part of this is trying to figure out what we got and. Number three here. Yeah, it's definitely got some butter in it. I can tell that a hundred percent. That is light. Definitely got some butter. And I believe I would almost bet for sure that's the butter leopard. So I'm thinking 
maybe a butter leopard, and this is the combo, the butter leopard. Nice stripe on the tail, whacked out pattern, really light buttery cream color. And yeah, look at that cute little head. Oh yeah, better do a disclaimer. I've had people give me dislikes before. We're not doing this to hurt the snakes. The blood is from vessels that they're hardly even using anymore. We do this mainly to uh, make sure the snakes have no problems getting out of the egg. And a little curiosity too. But as you tell, like the first two, their little heads were kind of stuck in there. So, All right, we'll leave this one alone. I'm pretty positive that is the devil. That's definitely what we're going for. All right, now we have this other one here. I started poking this little snout out. Let's go ahead and get it open before it decides to get its head stuck too. Let's see what we got going on here. Hope everyone's having a good season. If you're not a breeder, just hope you're having a good day then. All right, how you doing, little baby? It's hiding its little head from me. Not be able to tell too much. It might just be a little normal baby. So we'll know more when it pops out. We'll see. Regardless, cute little baby. Alright. So what's in number five? Looks like a little normal baby there. So, give it some time. Let it come out on its own, but yeah, it looks like just a normal. in here oh hey there kind of hard to tell as well thinking that one could possibly be a leopard I'm not seeing a lot of alien heads it's a really whacked out pattern so that might be a little leopard like I said some of these going to be hard to tell until they really come out of the egg so but I'm thinking we at least hit one of the doubles. This one here, I'm positive, is the double. So, and the rest of them we'll know for sure. Probably a couple butters, a couple leopards, and a, a normal or two. But I'm thinking maybe just one normal, but it could be two. But anyway, I've got a bunch more clutches that, uh, especially within the next like week, week and a half, that uh, we'll be doing cutting videos on as well. In the meantime, we'll uh, give, leave these guys alone for a couple days, let them come out on their own. Once they get completely out, we'll do an update video on them, um, probably after their first shed. We can get a better look at them, and uh, we'll know exactly what we have. Like I said, feel free to, to guess and throw in your comments if you want on uh, what you think they are. And hope everyone's uh, having a great day, and if you haven't, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.